Hi, this is Train Room Gary speaking from Detroit, Michigan. This episode is called Field Trip and Finishing the Flat Structures. I am a Lionel and MTH Classic Toy Train Layout. Okay, real fans, uh, let's leave the shop here and jump into the truck and uh, take a ride to one of those big box art stores. Okay, we're out in the front yard. We're ready to go for a ride to get some balsa wood. This truck was made in Dearborn, Michigan. Made in the good old U.S. of A. Well, here we go. Jump in, folks. Let's go for a ride to get some balsa wood. All right, I took a sample with me. Uh, this is what I need to finish doing those flat structures so I can get the wire behind that one element of the flat structure. So let's get going. All right, we're heading down the street. And my first corner here, there's a four-way stop. And we've got the blinker on. Let's, let's look to the left. Let's look to the right. Oh, looks good. Rock and roll to get some balsa wood. All right, we're at Michael's uh, to get the balsa wood. And there's my ride. And I'm getting the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and I have white and black at home. So let's take a quick look where I'm at again. I'm in the paint department at Michael's. Let's go look for the balsa wood. All right, I'm over at the balsa wood section. I'm gonna look for that piece of wood that I need to finish the flats. All right, they had the piece I'm looking for. This is the sample I brought with me. I think we're in good shape. Ever need to do stuff with bushes and trees, they have a big selection at Michael's for doing model railroad trees. You can find figures here. If you kind of wander out the store, there's all kinds of stuff for model railroading. If you uh, wander around these big art stores, you can say go to the dollhouse section or where they have jewelry stuff. This stuff here is a chain material that's good for like doing tie downs of, let's see, if it goes to a flat car. This cable stuff here they use for jewelry, for beads. So you look around these big box art stores, you can find some cool stuff. Also, there's a big bag of that moss that showed you at the store, and of course, this is in the dollhouse section. So they have a lot of stuff there. If you wander the store, you'll find cool things for doing your model railroads. All right, at this point, I'm taping the windows in place. This is typical you know, transparent plastic. It'd be hard to pick up on the camera. But I like to use this 3M magic tape because it never yellows and it holds forever. And I've seen this done a lot of you know, articles in the train magazines, people do it this way. So I think just you can avoid using glue on windows. This is the way to go with this uh, 3M magic tape, the green uh, package. All right, that's uh, been tacked in place. Piece of tape, just flip it over. And I like using this 3M Magic Tape because it doesn't yellow or crack as the model ages. And uh, trying to glue this stuff down would be a disaster. So I just put everything down with masking tape the same way we did the windows. And this gives you an idea of what it looks like. And there you go. All right, this is a paper insert here. Hope you can get that up in the camera. And what I'm gonna do here is take this Put it behind the glass and move it around where it looks like that guy is working in the in the in the uh, building. So this is just a paper insert cut from an old magazine, a little heavier gauge paper. When you run out of those uh, inserts from the manufacturer, All right? Here's an example of uh, using those inserts from the magazines when you run out of the paper from the kit manufacturers. So this is pretty good. And those of you in the tread area might recognize this pen here. This is from Wild Bill's Trains. No longer in business. A sad state for the tread area we lost Wild Bill's Trains. There you go. Those are the pieces I need to do the one of those flat wall structures. Right here I'm mixing up the epoxy. I like using this 30 minute epoxy 
to uh, glue the wood to the back of the flats. All right, I got the uh, wood to the back of this flat. Just going to remove these clamps and then paint this and prepare to go against the wall. This is the one I had to make to allow the wire go in behind this. So I got all these clamps off. I'll clean this up. Here it comes in. Here's the front of it. And that's my next problem. So I'll get the edges painted and we'll move on from there. All right, this paint is called uh, brick. And we'll take this paint, do a little shake up, and then we'll put it into my painting dish here. And what I want to do is get a edge on this thing, paint it the same color as a front, like a brick color. And we'll get this on here. You can kind of see that's looking pretty close. So there's the the brick paint to go on the match up. That's pretty close. So I'll continue painting this brick on here. Alright, uh, we're down in the workshop still. And this is kind of panic across so you can see what I'm up to. Got them all painted. And I'm ready to uh, go to the next stage, which would be to start laying them out. Alright, we're gonna try to add this wall in here. And I got the hot glue already on the wood. I'm just gonna push it against the wall and kind of hope it stays there. I think we're getting it pretty good. And I'll grab a level. I'll just kind of kind of eyeball this, but it doesn't hurt to take a quick peek. It looks good at the level. All right, this is Lionel's uh, Canadian Pacific rail car, and uh, let's put it in forward. Watch the white lights come on. Let's give it a little bit of fuel. Let's give you come an example how the flat structure's got kind of a job here. This is your host speaking, Train Room Gary, saying thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, cheers from Detroit and Mackinac Railway.